Yo, 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 everybody! Generic B here, and welcome back to a trip down memory lane. <laughs> uh, last time we were talking and hanging out, uh, we looked at the 1.8 beta world, uh, where I got my very first start doing an LP series. Uh, and then today, let's hit us ourselves up some, uh, some retail action. So I'm just going to hit play selected world. And of course, we are in... Uh, we're in 1.6.4, but we're, we're rocking Jollycraft because that's what I used to use back in the day. Uh, and I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, it's Mr. Taters. Uh, for those of you who don't, uh, who haven't been around or don't remember. Oh, here we go. Here's how I get out. Uh, I blew up the single player world. And Hello, Mr. Taters. <laughs> I blew up the single player world in uh, when I went over to Hermitcraft, um, but I of course made it back up. Don't you worry about that. Hi, baby. Yeah, I missed you. Oh, I love Jollycraft. Look at how look at how cute he is. Meow. Uh, so let's look around. This is my main base, and just like in uh, my 1.8 beta world, um, I made sure like I tried to make everything centrally go into one little spot from different farms all around um, put a little bit of a note block on there so we could hear things uh, and then tried to organize as much as possible with it would be like here's where you put the cracked brick so that's where the cracked brick would be your cracked stone brick um, all the different sandstone stuff we had jungle wood so I would have here's your jungle wood and your planks and things like that this was the cross-dimensional transportation device which I used to uh, to get to uh, get the hermit craft that was my transition in stone uh, all the wools up here since I knew I didn't need a whole lot of space I put all the wools which I actually really like I wouldn't mind Man, I really like this room um, I wouldn't mind doing something similar to this. Oh, hey, melon and pumpkins. Hey. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in each of these dispensers, no buttons or anything. I just used them as teeny tiny uh, chest. And of course, places to do your furnace work and, and all that stuff. And then a bunch of junk, junk drawers, inventory drawers, if you will. Or chest, I mean. Uh, hi, you want to come with me? No, you'll make too much noise. Uh, oh, okay, so this... <laughs> look at my epic... <laughs> epic redstone, bro. <laughs> uh, this goes down into the catacombs. Was there anything there? Hose and stuff. Uh, thinking... We'll go down here. I love this texture pack. Oh, boy, do I love it so much. Um, oh, yeah, 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 here we go. So, the scary... We're down in the uh, in the void. Everything's half slabbed for the most part. I think I'm still on peaceful. I, oh, maybe I am not on peaceful. Hard peaceful. I don't want to be fighting nobody while I'm down here. Um, so yeah, I was digging it out. But this was the goal to have like a really scary looking catacombs down here. Uh, caution redstone ahead. I must have something over there. Uh, and then the idea maybe was to go. From place to place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where I am. Oh, interesting. Okay. This is my hidden sugar cane farm, which we'll get to from another place. And then over here, I seem to recall, yep. I had the Octocart station. Uh, oh, yeah, Jungle Temple. I'll be there. Sand Quarry. And I'm sure this doesn't work anymore. Um, but it was a way to, uh, to have eight different places to go to all based off of this stuff. And what you could do is you could say, you get in the cart, you go, I'm interested in the jungle temple. And then you go, Spring! and it would go off and it go off that way. And then when it was done, it would go somewhere. Yeah, like it go on down that way. Um, yeah, man, I was working on all of these things. 
Woo. And then when I found lava, because I was way down, I would glass it all in, try to make it all cool looking. Oh, yeah. Memories. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, and again, I don't think I had... Oh, I guess I did have enchants, because there's a power of five. Okay. But I wasn't really into enchanting too much stuff, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay, so let's go back up here. Climb, climb, climb. Had the water in the middle so I could just kind of float down, I remember now. Uh, oh yeah, so this is the egg cooker. Uh, my idea was to have a bunch of stuff here, like a little switchboard. Uh, I think if I break that and break that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just had the little, you know, the switch and the button and stuff like that to go over. How in the heck did I get up there? Hmm. Let's look at that chicken. Oh, yeah, I tried to make some clouds up on the top with the, with the wool, the woolly wool. Uh, and then we come over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Typical little ugly, ugly stuff everywhere. Uh, is this, this is a terrible place to look at it. Let's go down one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so right here was the, uh, the little drop point. So that's where all my items would come down. Uh, and this big monkey was a automatic chicken cooker chicken farm grower thing so this would go how did i even do this oh yeah i would throw eggs up through the shaft it would go over here baby chickens would uh hang out until they grew up big and strong and then they would somehow i don't even remember how uh they would come down into this little another little section where they were making eggs Oh yeah, as soon as they grew, they would make an egg, which would go down and trigger that pressure plate, which would cause them to go over here into this area, which would drop eggs down and go there. And then whenever I wanted to cook them, I would just flip a, that switch down there. This piston door would open. They would go and fall on this, uh, on this uh, nether rack that's on fire, and the water would, wouldn't be there. And they would jump off and be like, ah, I'm on fire. And then they would turn in the cooked chickens and feathers. I'd flip another switch and the water would flush them right down into that part right there. Yeah. So that was that. Uh-huh. What is next? What do I want to show you? Hmm. A lot of tunnels going places. Over... Here, oh yeah, I was messing around with uh, the idea of item elevators Oops. by pushing blocks into it and causing the items to go up, which was working very nice. Oh, I love their ice there. Uh, and then this was a trail. I had a little railing. This went to a village way out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and that's how I got villagers over here. Boy, this thing's working great. Uh, and then over down this way, oh, I had a boat dock. I wonder if that thing is working. <laughs> had a boat dock where you could uh, you hit this thing. It would push you out, and off you'd go. And then that's down. And then as I'd go in, I think it would just go, boonk, and then I could walk out. But this would kill you every time, man. It stunk. Uh, was there anything up here? I want to, come on, get me up. I want to say I built something. I could be wrong. I'm wrong. I thought I had a secret. Maybe it's over on the other side. Uh, this is, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is where... Yeah, yeah, that secret uh, sugarcane farm. So that's another way you could get down. Um, I'm going to go down that way a little bit later. Let's go. 
This way. This is my bed. I've never built a good bedroom yet. Maybe in the haunted plantation I will. Uh, yeah, oh boy, I, I really miss... I know I'm going to say this a million times. I really miss the texture pack. I really miss my old underground build style. Um, it just... Mm, I, I'm so glad I came back here. Uh, this was a seed farm where you push a button. You could... Stand here, spam a bunch of bone meal, and it would grow. It would grow all the uh, all the flowers. You can get flowers and seeds, and then it would flood it with water, and then you would uh, you would get your stuff, and then I think it turns the water off. Yep, after a bit, and that way the uh, the grass doesn't die. Um. Ooh, that's that goes somewhere else. Uh, Mr. Oinker's Memorial Tree Farm with a little rose. Ah, uh, Mr. Oinker's. So this was my tree farm. How in the world did I get... Ah, here we go. And you can see, like, all of these blocks are up one. If I push this button, they all go down. And the reason for that is, I believe, spruce trees needed one more block of height. And, but if you're making, like, oak trees and you didn't want them to turn into super oaks, uh, you needed one, one less block of space, so that's why I did that. Beautiful. This took forever. I had the little... These are seat, the saplings. <laughs> so I had a little showcase of saplings. Are you still here? You are still here! <laughs> <laughs> Here lies Mr. Oinkers. He was a good pig. He died. I had Mr. Oinkers, and shoot, someone told me what it was the other day, and I can't remember what his name was. Mm. Oh, that 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 makes me sad. I can't remember it, but uh, it was like Clarence or something like that. But there's Mr. Oinkers. Uh, he died by death of either. Uh, being in a tree that grew, or he went in one of these things and drowned. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, but I brought in another pig, and I gave him, like, a little bit of a grave. And there he is. <laughs> uh, and then, I think there was something upstairs as well. I think I made it where you could hit the tree, this thing from both sides. Yeah. Oh, and then these went up, too. Oh, interesting. Except it looks like some of them don't. <laughs> probably, a, probably a broken uh, redstone somewhere. That's okay. Uh, I ain't living here no more. And then over here, I think, was just really nothing except a skeleton spawner. Yeah, there's a skeleton spawner right up there. No biggie. Okay, so that is that part. Of course, all the wool and everything. It took me ages to make that thing. Over here... Meow, was a work in progress, but these down here on the bottom... This was my... Uh, my own design. I was so proud of it at the time. It was my organic... Um, organic farms no cages no carts to put them in or anything like that it was based off of a, a something i saw with um hypnotized way back in the day where he had some some animals going through a loop and so i made it where i, I really don't think this thing is gonna work um but let's let's give it a try Oop, come on hello so you would sit there and you would, let's, let's try this one. I have a feeling if any of them is going to work, it's this one. It would push them all over. There's a little hole that would open up and they would fall down. Let's get a couple in there. Come on. Just, just two. Give me two. Hello. Bonk. Right. And then you come down this way. It'd be so cool if this thing worked. Okay, so they would. Where's the second guy? Oh, don't don't do that. Did the second guy not come down? Mm hmm. Did you not? Let's get another. Let's get another couple in there. 
No, don't go out that way. Oh, you will, won't you? Okay, that other guy's gone, so that's fine. Things have changed, my friends. Do I have two here? Okay, he's coming on down. Oh, yeah, they're just kind of glitchy. They're both there. Uh, and then I would do something like... I would use my wheat on both of those when they weren't... Oh, yeah, things are broke. They're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, and then I would go like that. They would both fall down. If it was down for death, they would. one of them would come over, one of the daddies. Because it, it used to always be that one, on one side was the mama. So the baby would go over there and they would go back into the thing. And then death would be them falling. Oh, there he goes. He's on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. And death job. And you could get the pork. Same thing with the, with the cows over there. And the whole idea was up here to be all bright and cheery, but then down below. <laughs> uh, this guy was my chiclet breeding facility. This was a joke, running joke for a little while, where I was telling people that I had figured out how to breed a, a pig, piglet, and a chicken, so it would make a chiclet. And you just have to put them, put them together in a house, put some some smooth jazz on, and some privacy. <laughs> so that's why I built that in here. Uh, this was my own design. This was one of the first uh, bread makers. And of course it's like old school, like slow, outdated. Let's see if I break open. I wonder if I have an ax here. Never, never have the tools I need. <laughs> nope. So if I break these two open, come in. Oh yeah, it, before it went way out here and then I think I updated it when someone else showed me a better way. Which, oh man, it's been so long. I can't remember. There was a couple people that uh, did good work on it. Um, so that's that one. Over here was my sheep farm. I had grand schemes, grand visions of making this similar to what I had with the uh, with the cows and stuff, which would take take them into a little chute and bring them up to me, and I just never got around to it. And that's fine because it was so much easier to just come up here and do a sheer job on them. And so I got that going all the way. Mm -mm -mm. This texture pack, I tell you what. Love it or hate it. Mm. I love it. Uh, and then, let's see. We go back. That was this wing of it. If we come back over... Hello. Come back over here. And go up instead. This was my underground village. And it made little trees over there. This was kind of what I was going for. Uh, little iron golem hanging out. Hey, bud. I should have, or they may be all upstairs. I found out, I didn't realize that they needed daylight in order to, to breed. And so I made this thing as a little temporary measure. This was like the last, one of the last things I did before I stopped the series. Um, I was getting villagers to where they would go up in here. They would think that this was a, a house. Um, and so they would go in, they would get sucked up there, and then they would go up to the top, which I'll show you, but then I had some breeders up there, and then the goal was to get them back down here through a, like a mine cart or something. But I grew little mushrooms and made little houses for them, which they never used because at the time I didn't understand <laughs> what constituted a, uh, a house for them. Oh, I like, they've updated this. I really like it. Very, very nice. Um, this old crazy wall. And I had a door here. What's a button over? Yeah, yeah. Lever. Let's see, we go in this way. I can't even remember. Oh, this goes to the... Uh, to the redstone redstone dot worship room so I think if you click on this 
and th that. Yeah, yeah. It would do these things to make it look like make it look like it was doing something. And then you come in and you'd be like, "Oh, redstone dot, you're so awesome." But I I can't remember if these guys had to stay on for this door to stay open. I can't remember if I did that or not. Um, this was a weird. I'm surprised this still works, frankly. Uh, that's a, a very weird, I don't even know how to get to it. Um, oh, and that's causing me to lag out like you would not believe. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> um, there was some like really strange proximity sensor. Uh, I think, I think Seth Bling came up with, I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, but it involved a, uh, mine cart. Can't believe that still works. Uh, Villigan's Island coal mine, right? Three days since last accident. And, oh yeah, there's still a couple, a couple villagers hanging out. Danger, no villagers beyond this point. Hey, you guys make noises now. Hi. And this just kind of made it look like they were working. Had some, some other stuff down here that they would work on. So that is that part. Little thundercloud with some light up above and some water on there so it'd make a little rain rain job. Oh, this guy. Let's see if this still works. Yep, to give me a little path to go through. It's not too surprising that most of my stuff still works on this because it was the most basic of basic redstone <laughs> known to mankind. Um uh, next up, let's go up. I want to make sure that I hit the good stuff. There, like I had like a sand quarry and stuff over there, but there wasn't anything interesting over there to my recollection. Uh, this is where I had my first hidey hole. Oh, you know what? Is there a bed right there? No, there's not. Is there a bed in here? No, there's not bed in my inventory no let's go down and sleep really quick sleeping the night away 